Hi everyone, my name is Brooke Morris and I'm a senior at UGA. I'm actually in the process of deciding if I would like to teach after I graduate, so I've not put much thought into my future classroom until just recently. However, we have all been in a plethora of classrooms throughout our lives, and we all have things we liked and didn't like about them. For me personally, there are also things I wish would have been incorporated into my learning experience. Based on all of this, I was able to come up with my ideal future classroom. I first want to discuss active learning. I have found it to be very helpful for me, so I feel like it must be incorporated in my classroom. Active learning means you participate and collaborate with others and apply concepts to the real world. It requires hard mental effort, but leads to better retention and an understanding of the material. I want to use a platform like Top Hat to ask my students real life problems. After they each answer, I will allow them time to discuss with their peers why they believe the answer they chose is correct. Then we will discuss as a class why each answer choice is either correct or incorrect. If I do choose to become a teacher, I would really like to be in a middle grades math classroom. Since math can be particularly frustrating for some students, I feel like it will be beneficial for them to collaborate with their peers and learn from them. If possible, I would like to implement a flipped classroom like Clintondale High School, who is the first school to try this new style of teaching. The new system has students watching their teachers' lessons at home, then pairing up with them during class to complete class assignments and homework. In my flipped classroom, I would post short lecture videos throughout the week for my students to watch and take notes on. This would allow them to rewind and re-listen to concepts they are having difficulty understanding. Then, when they come to class, we can apply the material using Top Hat or a fun learning activity. If I notice that some of the students are still a little shaky towards the end of the class, I can re-explain the concept or have a student who feels confident explain it to the class. Hopefully, this style of teaching will help my classroom look a little more like this and a little less like this. I would also like to introduce design thinking into my math classroom. In case you don't know, design thinking is a process for addressing complex problems. Each semester, I will separate my students into teams and ask them to find a problem in the community or school that's related to math. After the teams identify the problems, I can start formulating creative ways to solve the problem. For instance, they might realize that the third graders are really struggling to learn their times tables. They will try to understand why they're having difficulty and from there formulate multiple strategies for how to help them. Most importantly, they will put this into practice to see if their ideas are effective. I don't expect every group to have successful solutions. In fact, I think it will be important for some of the group's ideas to fail. This way, they can learn from their experience and try to figure out what they would do differently. I would like to incorporate music into my classroom. However, I realize that different people prefer different kinds of music. As you can see here, some students may like rock while others like pop, blues, or jazz. Because of this, I'm going to have a song recommendation box for my students to request songs in. This will allow me to revise the music and make sure it's appropriate for class while also playing songs they enjoy. Personally, I have difficulty doing work when music is playing, so I'll play these songs as they enter my classroom and get settled in. Once the class starts, I will either turn the music off or switch it to instrumental music to help them concentrate. While I'm sure there's a lot more to consider about my future classroom, I think this is a pretty good start.